Hello, I'm Dr. Jason Christofiak. I am primary care sports medicine with Robert Wood Johnson Barnabas Health. I am the medical director of sports medicine for St. Barnabas. I am the medical director of the Morehand Center. I'm also an assistant team physician for Rutgers Athletics, and I'm also a clinical assistant professor with Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. I'm going to be briefly discussing uh, COVID-19 and sports and how it relates to safety and preventing its spread. And I do appreciate your time and consideration during this brief presentation. Um, I've spent a lot of time caring for student athletes as well as non-athletes with the COVID-19 infection and working on policies and procedures to help keep our student athletes safe this coming fall and going forward. Prevention has been the best key to preventing COVID-19 um, from impacting sports as well as other facets of life. Uh, masking um, at all times when able, except during practice and play is highly recommended. Maintaining good social distancing of greater than six feet, hand washing and good daily hygiene. Um, these four things have really been shown to prevent um, the spread of COVID-19. The best way to avoid COVID-19 from um, adversely impacting your season is to prevent it from affecting your team in the first place. So we find that promoting this culture of prevention has been very um, it's been a very good way of preventing um, an adverse impact of this of this virus on the sports season. So again, masking, distancing, hand washing, and hygiene uh, that culture alone has been shown to uh, really prevent. COVID-19 from impacting play. We, we like to recommend this uh, for this to be promoted on and off the field. From a lot of the contact tracing I've done um, with my other sport um, partners, I found that uh, social gatherings and eating and things away from the field have actually been shown to cause more um, of an exposure and more spread of COVID-19. Um, so pr promoting these these prevention techniques off the field has been has been shown to help actually you know keep the the illness away from the team, uh, especially with the fall um, right upon us. Um, at Robert Wood Johnson Barnabas Health, we have a saying: "Heroes stay home." So uh, we like to promote: if you're sick, stay home. Uh, promoting an athlete um, with an illness to, to being around the team is not recommended, uh, even if you're pretty confident it's not COVID nineteen. Uh, right now, COVID-19 can be anything from no symptoms to severe symptoms. Um, I have seen uh, individual student athletes with no symptoms but have COVID-19 and have gone on to spread that to another individual who develops symptoms later and um, you know, can have ser seriously impact their health and especially if that gets spread to somebody else um, with uh, pre-existing comorbidities such as heart failure and asthma or COPD. Those individuals can get really sick and that can be really problematic. Um, so, you know, if someone is sick, we recommend that they stay home and get evaluated by a healthcare professional and get a, and make sure they get the appropriate workup to make sure they're not bringing COVID-19 um, around your athletic team. Um, masking at all times, as I was mentioned before, except for practice and play is really critical. Uh, we understand that during practice and play itself, it's not possible, but um, during breaks in practice when um, there's breaks, when there's water breaks, et cetera, or in between you know, plays at games, um, having them mask up and saying as socially distanced as possible uh, also has been shown to decrease the, the spread of the illness. Uh, temp checking and screening are really critical. These are recommended to do on a daily basis, uh, the screening for symptoms. And again, um, promoting that message, hero stay home. If you're sick, stay home. It's, it's, it's something that we really, um, really try to emphasize. Uh, the temp checking is critical as well. Um, individuals with COVID-19 can present uh, with the fever and that could be an easy screening tool to have them not be around the team and go for additional medical evaluation. We only recommend that one temperature is checked um, per day per kit. Uh, multiple checks can lead to inaccuracies and, um, and false readings um, that can allow an individual that is sick to maintain around the team, which can cause two issues later on, including spread of an, of a, of an illness and um, contact tracing and quarantines and, and other things that we have to follow through CD, CDC recommendations. 
Um, it's recommended that if you have a student athlete about to do a temperature, make sure that they're cooled down. If they had any type of, if they were running or biking before, give them the chance to cool down before they do the temp check. Uh, currently, our system uses 100.4 as a cutoff. Anything uh, at 100.4 or greater, we recommend um, that they do not participate and they get evaluated by the athletic trainer or nurse. Um, if that number is different, please follow your school or district policy. And if you have a temperature that is at that district policy or greater, um, make sure that that student athlete is pulled from individual practice or play and evaluated by the athletic trainer or the school nurse um, so they can be further evaluated. Um, knowingly having an individual that is showing signs of illness or having a positive temp screen and allowing them to continue to participate, um, that is going to possibly lead to an individual with COVID-19 spreading COVID-19 uh, to, to someone else on your team or uh, in certain cases actually causing the whole entire team to be quarantined uh, because of a COVID-19 concern. And that can, that can lead to the uh, obviously missed time on the field and um, other disruptions in your athletic program. So, um, you know, in summary, well, this is a brief summary, um, you know, masking, distancing, hand washing, hygiene are super critical. Uh, we find that emphasizing those things um, can lead to the prevention of COVID-19 and its spread. Uh, prevention, again, is the emphasis here, trying to prevent this from impacting your sport team um, will keep your sport team playing. Uh, promoting a hero stay home if you're sick, stay home uh, culture is recommended. And just remembering the, the how crucial the temp and daily screening um, checks are. And you know, please follow these guidances either set by your district or our healthcare system. I do appreciate your time and consideration listening to this brief um, this brief message. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, please reach out to us and uh, stay safe this season.